Hello everyone. So for today I was thinking, not sure exactly how I'm going to do this, but we'll use some of these pages. They don't seem to say any really bad words on it, so... I had this idea I got from Pinterest, just a heads up. So here we go. All she does really is take ripped pieces and distress. Around is the first thing this person does. So I'm just, again, trying to distress around these, make them look very distressed instead of normal-like, well, make it look older than what it is, of course, is the point of distressing. Use this piece up she uses another little bit of book page but I figure it you know what this is what I have on hand let's just use it it may be scrapbooking paper but We'll just glue it on. In the middle-ish. All right, let's do another one. Okay. I completely forgot about that edging here. The kids are having a sleepover, so it's one of them nights where they're going to be loud no matter what, which is hilarious because they think they're getting away with something, but in all reality, mommy already knew. <laughs> knew they were going to be up to mischief today.
All right, we got two more. This one's already pretty close to being done. We'll just distress again around here. Stick some glue on. There we go. All right, I'm not gonna do that, but I was thinking this would be pretty interesting. I would have to make it a little bit smaller, wouldn't I? I'm not gonna do that. All right. Uh, let's think here. It's gotta be different kind of typing now. That would work. Sometimes when you need different types of typing, ooh, that would, this is nice. And different typing. All right, we'll use this. All right. Now, the girl who did it did twine with buttons. Now I gotta think of where I put my buttons. Ah, here we go. So I have buttons here. some different sized ones so let's just do different sized ones different colors even why not there we go Went through the first hole just fine. And the second hole. There we go. I feel like I have huge fingers when I do this. But it's just taking a button, going across. And voila, I'm going to cut these off just a little bit. Waiting for my Fabri-Tac. And that just gives it a little something. We might add more to it, but this is what they basically had on that piece.
sorry if I'm mumbling a little bit tonight. Again, I'm just trying to keep my ears out a little bit for the kids, but at the same time let them be kids. Which, for me, is a little bit of a struggle. I love my children. I just don't love... I don't like doing sleepovers. I'll be honest, I hate doing sleepovers. But I know they need to learn sleepovers sooner or later, and the only way you learn how to do sleepovers is by having sleepovers. So, it's a part of growing up. I really should have just kept this tipped over. Again, just cute little embellishments to add to your tags. Sometimes you may not like the whole idea of adding buttons because buttons is sometimes clunky in your junk journaling. And I know it does that to me sometimes. Something as simplistic as a flat flower will work. as a cute little embellishment with it instead of a big piece. And it's a way to use twine and your buttons and all that if you're interested in doing it that way. Or what I was thinking too for my next set of pockets or anything like that don't want that one. Maybe cutting out pieces. Small pieces that I have sitting. That and these two girls and that type of thing. And glue them on. So you don't have to get as, as extravagant as the buttons. You can do it any way you want to. And again, this is perfect way for me to give a new idea to make my pieces for my journal. I could just add these a part of the pages and not really have to worry about it too much. So there, again, cute little pieces and them cute little pieces <coughs> instead of adding them to a tag or something else like that, 
with them being so flat, these pieces I can just stick onto a page. Um, let's bring out our book here, just so I can show you. For example, when there's tons of these blank pages in a row, you can just take it and glue it down and it just adds a little bit of an accent to it without too much but gives off again the look that we're trying to do But I'm gonna let you go. My daughter's screaming no, and the other child is not stopping, so I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day or night. Bye.